Hey guys, it's Goody here, and this is how to get the Tombstone permanent perk in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies, and we're actually going to play some Buried for this. Now, I'm pretty sure that because we're playing as Misty and all that lot from this map, it will carry through, because all the permanent perks seem to do that, to Diarise and Transit, but I'm not entirely sure, don't hold me to that, I'm just showing you how to get it. So, we all know the actual perk Tombstone from Transit and Town Survival, the perk that, what if you bought it and you went down, you hold X, this Tombstone appears, you go and collect that Tombstone, you will then acquire everything you had from the previous life, i.e. your perks and your weapons, and this kind of acts as the same retrospect as that and also who's who, but it's more tombstone, and basically if you go down, you will keep your perks, that kind of acts like a, a perk insurance, so you will keep them, it's, it's a pretty helpful thing and insanely easy to get, so let's get straight into it, so I'm doing this on solo, and it's much more better actually if you do it in cooperative, but for uh, argument's sake, we're going to do it in solo. So, first thing you want to do in solo is buy Quick Revive, because Quick Revive is on, you don't need power, it's right in the face as soon as you can drop down the hole and bury, and also, um, you're going to need it. It's the most more important perk if you go down, you also get second chances, and also, you don't want to go and get it later, because that will involve, unless you've got a paralyzer, that will involve going back up through debris that's going to cost you more money. So, buy that. Um, now, so that's going to be your first perk. The second perk you want to get is Juggernog, and you want to open up Lenny, go to the saloon, or it might spawn back in his cave, get some more booze, and open up Juggernog, and obviously if you, the further away you get with Lenny, the further he has to run to open that debris, the more points you're going to get. But I do advise going to the bank to this, because you want to try and get these perks before round three. The next perk you want to get is either Slime Hand, Vulture Aid, or Mule Kick. Uh, any one of those three wants to fill up your last two buyable slots, because as, uh, as I said, you've got to buy, you've got to fill up the buyable slots, so you need four perks by round three. So, you should have a combination of either Quick Revive, Juggernog, Vulture Aid, Slime Hand, Mule Kick, and even if you want to open the Science House, Double Tap, and if you want to go all the way over there, Stamina, but you want to get ones that are closer that's not going to require much effort, and as you get them, you will see the green flash of smoke if you've done them before round three or on round three. And now, you won't see it in this because I've already got the permanent perk, but a way to maintain this perk is to do it every game. I, it lasts every game you do it as long as you keep doing it. So, you won't lose it after a set number of rounds, and it's a pretty, pretty good permanent perk. So, that is literally what to do on solo. Now, in solo, let me, let me tell you how this perk's going to work now. So, in solo, if you go down, you will get revived by yourself if you have Quick Revive, obviously, and then you'll get your perks back and it'll take away Quick Revive. Now, I've also got another video on my channel, how to get unlimited Quick Revives in Buried. Go and check that out, it'll be in the description annotation on the screen now. And this is that this that strategy works wonders with this perm perk strategy, so go and check that out. So every time you go down in solo and you revive yourself, you'll keep your perks, but it'll just keep taking away Quick Revive every time. In cooperative, though, it's a bit more complicated than that. And basically, every time you go down, it will take away your most recent perk you've acquired. So, say the most recent perk is Stamina Up, you went down, you got revived by someone, you've got all your perks, bar Stamina Up. But, if you did have Quick Revive, for some reason, it takes that away first. I think it's programming to do it in solo and it carries you to cooperative. So, even if you have, like, Stamina Up last and Quick Revive first, it'll take a Quick Revive and then starting working its way from right to left. Now, the thing is with this, I will always, in co-op, in, in co-op, in co-op, I will always recommend get Juggernaut first and Mule Kick second, because Tombstone works its way from right to left as you go down and takes away perks from right to left. If you leave Mule Kick as the second last thing it takes away, you will keep your third weapons most of the time, so you don't have to worry about what which weapon is in which slot and what you're going to lose, because Mule Kick is kind of safe, you know, it's, it's the second last perk it's going to take away, so I would always advise buying Mule Kick very early on if you're doing it in co-op. So that's just a little strategy, guys, for this perk. It's a fantastic perk and really, really easy to maintain and get. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. Go and check out my other ones um, around Buried. I'm uploading so much around Buried at the moment because I'm just getting around to it. But other than that, guys, it's been goodie and goodbye.